All right, it is sick week, day zero. So everybody's in tech line, going through tech line. Uh, a lot of people are already through tech, so it has gotten a lot more efficient over the couple years on how quick people can get through tech, get ready to race. It was supposed to rain all morning. Early, we did have a little downpour here, but hey, we'll take that when we're not on the track. So get the rain out of the way, but it is looking like freaking an epic week. I mean, 60s, high 60s to 70 all week. No, no rain, knock on wood, Ricky said. In the forecast, so I think that we're gonna be good there with ideal conditions. Eclectic group of cars is always like just awesome. And now we got 350 of them and another couple hundred in sick wards. So we're gonna do some racing today or some testing today. Uh, we head from, well, tomorrow we have all day here in Orlando. So get to Orlando, watch the racing. We make a road trip to Bradenton. We're in Bradenton for Tuesday, Wednesday up to Gainesville, Thursday up to South Georgia. And then we make the haul back down here for Friday to wrap this thing up. So I think you got lots here with five second capable cars. So we may get, uh, we may get, we may get our first five at sick week that I haven't been able to do. I got the damn Durango, but, um, and we may even get an all five second deal. I know that Lutz, even though he downplays it, I know that he's really trying to run a five every day. He's like me, he doesn't want to jinx himself by talking about it, but I can talk about it because I'm not Lutz and I'm not the guy here that everybody's shooting for. So, hey, that's good. And Stefan's back, I mean, just epic. I've got some. Ricky, what else should I say? The live feed only costs 10 bucks. The live feed. Amazing. The live feed is freaking epic. Like, here's the deal again, guys, and I've preached this a lot of times. Here is where all drag and drive was. Here is where Sick Week was. Here is where Sick Week needs to go. To do that, we teamed up with Garrett, AKA Cletus. We have eight cameras. We have drones. We have a Jumbotron. We have camera cars that are gonna follow to the checkpoints and record, like stream live on the broadcast through the checkpoints. Like, this is going to be next level broadcast. Like, if you're a subscriber to Sick the Mag, you already got a code. If you didn't get the code, then send an email because actually the code is, I'll tell you what the code is because if you're a subscriber, your email is what matters. So what is the code? Okay, when it says promo code, the promo code is 6SUB, S-I-C-K-S-U-B. It is your email for your magazine subscription that is your login. That's your, pat, your promo code for free if you're a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, then I think it's sick week is the promo code and then it's $9.99 to watch the whole event five days don't be a cheap ass damn it like I mean $9.99 how many packs of cigarettes is that probably only one and a half I don't even know so that less than the case of Pat Blue Ribbon and you can watch it for the whole week so it is going to be epic and at the end of it I guarantee that you're going to say that was next level tonight we got a pizza party in Detroit Lions on the Jumbotron here because you know what like when you live in Detroit then like literally they've never hardly been to the playoffs like they literally suck so we're gonna ride it we're gonna ride them as long as we can and hopefully they beat the 49ers tonight and I saw a little map and said everyone except people that live in San Francisco are a Detroit Lions fan so hey we're going with the whole country Detroit Lions fans You know what? I'm back. Uh, I haven't done drag driving over eight years. So, well, it's been eight years since I've done it last. And I've promised Tom ever since he started this that I would come. And guess what? I'm here. I finally got some time off from filming and I just, it's something I want to do. You know, I got my son with me again. Scott Murray's my co-pilot. Jeffrey's got a little LS truck he's going to drive. So we're just here to have fun. Everybody's asking me about the record. I don't care about the record. That record don't mean shit unless you're standing here on Friday. So we're here to just run, have a good time, check out Sick Week, see what it's all about, and just get back to what we know. Tom said he reckons you're trying to downplay the numbers here. And like... No, I'm not. I'm not downplaying the numbers at all. Uh, it uh, it really don't matter to me. You know, I've got the fastest average ever, and if somebody beats that, then I would work towards beating that. But. Um, Right now, I really don't care. The, the deal is to come back here Friday, and that's what we're all about. The drag and drive is where I started. You know, I met Tom at one of the first drag weeks we ever went to, and you know, it's like a big family. I've got more friends that do it now, and it's just uh, the camaraderie on the side of the road, you know, the people that pull over to help you, just uh, all walks of life. 
you'll, you'll see, you know, and I love the way Tom's format is. They got really fast cars here and that's what needs to be going down the street. So that makes a real, if it's street driven or not, you know, not something with AC and, you know, I like to see the hot rods or pro mods, you know, everybody says that's not a street car. No, that's not a street car. That's a street driven pro mod. That's what that is. So uh, we're just glad to be back. It's something I've been wanting to do. And, you know, my, uh, my career has gone other ways with the TV shows and stuff. And I just couldn't fit it in. And now that I got this two months off, I called Tom instantly. I said, I think I'm going to make it. So he was all excited. I'm glad to see all the, you know, all, all my old friends, Keith and Tanya Turk, Jennifer, everybody, Tom, a lot of these people I did drag and drive with at Hot Rod Drag Week. We're here to stay. I'll always be coming. Uh, just how many I can do, that's all there is to it. These stickers are to be stuck where things happen on stick week. Um, so if you see somewhere that needs a sticker, you stick that sticker. And um, that gets us. This is what you do, okay? Post it on social. Sick week was here. Tag it. Don't actually take it back, but that was a waste of a sticker. So. Oh yeah, because there's a. Where the heck's the alligator at? There's an alligator somewhere for the top tourist. So like the top tourist, because Death Week it was such a hit, there's a top tourist. So we don't know what the qualifications are. We just, we will figure it out at the end. Someone will stand out this as the top Tom's tourist. This is Tom's world and you're living in it. So, <laughs> no, you're just hanging in it for the week. So. Well, I don't want to live there. That's exactly. a scary place, so, okay? But we got this big ass alligator head somewhere. And like, that's the top tourist gets his alligator head. Or the top five, we put them in a corner. Whoever doesn't get bit, they win the top tourist. <laughs> so. I like that. These are the rules. So that's LA what's been happening. What's the car doing? And what's so uh, we came down a week early and we tested Monday to Thursday at Orlando Speed World. And uh, so we got some good data. We have a brand new motor, very similar combination to the old motor, but it is a new combination. So we're babying it, taking it easy. Uh, if you guys remember at Six Summer last year, we had quite the catastrophic failure, which took us out for like half a season. Um, so we're gonna baby it as we start to make more power and uh, try to get through the week and hopefully see some six second passes along the way. So, but overall it's pretty good. So getting ready to kick off tech day. I doubt we'll test today, but we did a lot of testing already. <laughs> We mainly made 300 foot hits. We got some really good 60 foot times, but mainly made 300 foot hits. Got the first half of the track dialed in. Um, I think we ran like a 690 something when we ran it out the back door once, which is slow for what the car can do. But again, safe on timing, safe on fuel, trying to make sure read plugs every pass and get it happy. And then we'll turn it up. <laughs> So my name is Chuck Stefanski uh, from Ashland, Ohio, just south of Cleveland, Ohio, uh, part owner of Big Three Racing. Uh, this is my 1981 Pontiac Grand Le Mans Safari station wagon. Uh, it has a 540 uh, big block Chevy in it, dressed up with some valve covers to make it look kind of like a Pontiac, or at least a Pontiac, just to fit the theme. Uh, we have a F3 112 uh, crank drive Pro Charger setup on it, a power glide, um, and four nine inch rear end in it. It's a little heavy, uh, 3580 at weight. Uh, yesterday when I went across the scales, uh, brand new build. Uh, first time down the track was Saturday. I had one pass, just a quick uh, little pass, 100 or 139, 60 foot uh, to the eighth. And then I went a uh, 8.0 uh, yesterday. Uh, again, take, uh, clicking it off a little early. 
173. So my plan with the car at some point is to go sixes at over 200 miles an hour. I think for sick week, uh, this this coming week, I'm just gonna kind of keep it uh, right around 750 or slower. Um, it's kind of the plan for that. Uh, more importantly, we just need to make it through the week. So we're not gonna thrash on it, try to beat it up too bad. Um, make one more pass today, hopefully, just to make sure this new tune up with a little bit more boost to it in the, in the gear drive and uh, get the timing right for that. Um, air is supposed to be phenomenal this week, so I don't want to be too confident in the uh, timing on the starting line. So I'm going to still try to keep it neutered a little bit and uh, try to keep it safe and be hit back here on Friday is the plan. The last seven days have been quite the thrash. Um, some people might have seen it, uh, the, the build process. So I got the car back pretty much um, kind of rolling, but I had to rewire the car. I actually had to pull the heads off and, and modify the heads for the new rocker arms to fit the push rod so had the heads back off of it pretty much everything was dismantled uh, like i said i'd rewire put all the interior in it do all the plumbing finalize an exhaust system for this uh, which just goes on the zoomies uh, put glass in finish a roof rack i mean there was all kinds of stuff painting stuff the rear end i just fit the hood um, i put the hood on 10 minutes before it went in the trailer to come down here so it's been a lot of sleepless nights already even before more sleepless nights coming up because this is going to be my fourth one but first time in this car so last time has been in my wife's uh, uh 2002 fourth gen trans am only went 850s it was like a cakewalk compared to you know what i think i'm in for this week and uh luckily enough i do have i'm allowed to take three with me so four of us in this we do have rear seat uh, if nothing else, we're going to have a good time. That's what he ke I keep telling the crew. Like, we, it doesn't matter. We're going to have a good time. Because we're all together. We're hanging out, cruising the countryside with our, you know, best friends. So what could go wrong? I've gone about four miles on the street. So I'm real confident that uh, we should have zero issues. Because, you know, it's 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 really proven right now. So I think we'll be good. Uh, we did run it on the dyno. Um, I ran it for about 20 minutes with the front end on. No hood, but with the front end on. No auxiliary fans in front for about 20 minutes, uh, check coolant temps, make sure everything was good. It ran about 165, 168 degrees. So I think we'll be okay on the street, but we won't know until we know. Um, we did make one, a couple power pulls with it just to make sure all the systems worked after rewiring it and plumbing it. Um, it made 1400 pretty easily uh, to the tires on our Mustang dyno at only 7,000 RPM. I'll spin it to 8,000. Um, we're gonna turn up the boost a little bit more too since then, or we just changed the boost on it, the gear drive. Uh, so I'm hoping to see another two or three pounds of boost out of it um, and keep the timing the same and see how much faster we can go today. Magnus Frost. This is uh, our first sick week with this car and the Ascona is back together once again. It's been a, this car has been a, such a, a, has been a struggle from the beginning, but we're going to figure it out and go fast. I think we started yesterday to, uh, the boys took the transmission apart. We could see on the, that it started to slip. So we have a broken transmission. So the boys ripped it apart yesterday. We're up and running and then we started this morning. We just got two, three hours of sleep. And then we started this morning and the fuel pump started leaking. So we'll build a fuel pump in the tech line here. So I think now we're good. The last time we saw the car was Drag Week 22. And then um, before, you know, we crashed the car 19 and then we rebuilt it back home and we sent it over to Drag Week 2022. And we were here at Orlando uh, one and a half week before just to test the car to make it uh, ready competitive. And then the first pass when the car was all rebuilt, the throttle stuck. So we put it, I put it in the wall. So then we took the whole week to rebuild it. And then we get the drag week and we blew the engine up day one. So this is actually, we haven't been drag and drive with this car so much. It's a, been a, a, unfortunate with this car. So this is the good side here. And over here, we got all the battles cars. 
And it's basically patched together. From uh, the first uh, drag week we did it, the car is way lighter, got bigger turbos. That's about it. More, more power, less weight. So we're, for us, it's still a new car, so we're figuring it out. But I think we we can go fast with it. I hope so. We just need some luck. Yeah, it's it's our time for some luck now. I think it should be. <laughs> Chris with Project Prime, so he will show you the, this is the Jumbotron, but it's also the headquarters for the live stream, so just, he'll walk you through, check this stuff out, but like, next level crap, like, yeah, I don't sweet. know what else First to call it, crap. Tom, thank so, you for the opportunity. Oh yeah, this is great. Awesome. With these guys innovating as much as they do, I figured, you know, we gotta at least try to meet the mark. So in here, we have basically everything we're gonna use to do the live stream. This is basically a computer that just handles video. And this is what we utilize for our replay. And um, this is our streaming computer. And this is what is taking the master program signal from our switcher. So basically this controls any image that you see from a stream. And then we send all that back to the computers. They do their thing. And uh, yeah, then we send it to the Jumbotron up top and that's it. And for this show, it's all 5G because it's on the road. So everything's wireless basically. And we're sending it all back to here and it's pretty sweet but the megatron lives in the back let me show you that it's a 21 by 12 foot screen and it actually folds up kind of like a pretzel it's all hydraulically driven via this controller so it's all wireless it's all awesome and uh when that comes down the trailer is basically full of led screen but as you're looking at it right now when it's up you basically got an 18 by 8 foot tub to play with you can put all your gear in there it's pretty sweet I mean, it's pretty wild I know Tom mentioned something about a football game later. So we'll see if we can't toss that up there, get the speakers out, let us all enjoy the game. He wants to lose in high def. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh come on, man. Lions yeah. for the win. So yeah, like, we're, funny. everybody's a Lions fan. I mean, that really loves an underdog story. So you got to root for the Lions. Danny Humphreys, 78 Porsche 928. Yeah. I've owned the car for 23 years now. Uh, so we did the Rocky Mountain Race Week two years ago, big tire deal. Um, my car is mild steel, so it only searched to 750. Um, we went to 738 first full pass, so kind of out of luck there. Um, so we're running Rowdy Radial this year, which is eighth mile, eight inch radial tire, uh, which I can go up to 450s with on that. So that's what precipitated that. And in Texas, like that's all we do is eighth mile radial stuff. So kind of fits, fits the bill a little better. Um, same motor combination, everything else is the same. Uh, the only thing I switched is the rear gear ratio on it uh, from the previous setup, so. And what did you learn at Rocky Mountain 2.0? <laughs> Not to go when you're sick. <laughs> that was a very short uh, short experiment for us. And uh, you know, we had a good time. Uh, after the first day, we just decided that it wasn't gonna work. Uh, so we just you know trailered around to the different tracks. We still had a fantastic time hanging out with everybody and you know and that's the thing i mean everybody's willing to share their success stories and their failure stories and you know not pull any punches so uh definitely can pick up a lot of information so i think that that's one of the biggest things is if somebody's in, interested in doing it they need to go and do one without a car before they do one and take notes so yeah it's uh it, it's definitely a learning experience so it's a 572 inch uh, uh, smx steve morris motor uh, it's got a Whipple uh, 980 supercharger on it, uh, making about uh, about 32, 33 pounds of boost. So not leaning on it too hard with it. And uh, that's what I told Steve when I built it. I want a big arm so I don't have to spin it fast. And you know, so I want a I want an anvil so I don't have to worry about screwing it up. Last year we had, yeah, we started out pretty good, it was in second place I think when we went to Bradenton, 
but then uh, we put more power in it and uh, we get more and more problems with it. So we found out that one of the rear shocks was broken and didn't work at all. So that was main thing, one of the main things that it didn't work out. And uh, we had some small issues with like boost controller and these types with the CO2 bottles. We always emptied them because we had leaks. But uh, now we're back and uh, the engine has been serviced. Uh, we, have, we went to Customs by Biggins this July and did like 20 rounds of testing and they drank some beer and we were screwed. No, we're not screwing. We did some mechanical stuff <laughs> at night. So uh, I think we're fit, fit for sick week this year. Um, the engine upgrades is very small. We just went from wet sump to dry sump to. Uh, to get uh, better oil control um, with the gear forces we have, it's uh, yeah, it's really tough off the line, and uh, we had suck the pan dry sometimes. So yeah, that was the main thing. We switched from precision turbos to force induction, so it's a little bit larger turbo. But what the data we have been seeing, it this has less back, back pressure, and that means more power. So hopefully, it will show on the numbers also. And will you test today? Yeah, we were test today. We were testing on Friday and uh, this Saturday and it made two passes, 740 and 675 or something yesterday. But uh, really hoping to go like mid sixes again today and be ready for sick week. What's going on, Bryce? This is the last time we saw you. Um, not much has probably changed. I mean, we at least had shit figured out the last time you saw us because we were running we went our best time, 6.56. We've made four passes here the last two days and um, haven't got really to the 60 foot without, or passed the 60 foot without shaking them or something. So yeah, we got we got some, hopefully we got it this time. We'll take a little bit more out, take the dump out a little longer, see what happens. That's what we always aim to go faster than we've been because it's always mostly the same car. We make minor changes and it's, there's not much else to lose for weight or, I'm not changing the power plant anytime soon, so yeah, we're just trying to get as much out of this thing as we can.
last time we had the car out was death week. We were down, well, broke it, broke the block, didn't make the week. And we were down like 200 horsepower from where we are now. So new engine, new blower, got shoots on the back now, Lexon windows, but we're roughly 200 horsepower more now and we're spraying it with nitrous. But with an extra 200 horsepower, we changed converter beforehand. So then we had to change converter again because it was way too loose. So now that's better, but now we're working on the launch and it's wanting to stick the tire. So we changed four link bars and it blew off the tire. Now we're finally getting it somewhere, but as soon as the front tires touch down on the ground and blows back tires off, because we're so front heavy. So as soon as it just touches down, it just lifts the back end up. So now we're putting 160 pounds of concrete in the back to try and get the back tires to plant and we'll see if that works if not then we'll take it out and mess with the four link more so we got 280 pound bags of concrete we got four rolls of duct tape to wrap them up so they don't spill and somehow we got to put them there and there not a lot of room but they got to be as far back as possible <laughs> so that's the durango we don't want this on camera. This is the dumbest shit we've ever done. <laughs> it's all fucking ridiculous, but this is what the, the test has to be. Because there's not really anywhere else to put it. It wasn't made for 80 pound bags of cement. <laughs> Sit back on the tin. We don't want to just cut a bag open. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make for a mess, won't it? Bag of cement in your in your car. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> and it's all double. Now the duct tape goes that way and then it goes vertically. Right. So now we need ratchet strap. Where are my GoPros? Uh, we got one under the hood, we got one by the rear end, because we don't have travel sensors, so we need to watch footage of what the shocks are doing to get more data. So, Riki doesn't get in-car footage. one right there. Yeah, and the switch is bad. It was on, was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Were on. Were they loaded? I have no... If I turn it off, it leaks. Oh, now it stopped. It must have right. something stuck in... Well, it's probably out of pressure. I turned the bottle off. Oh. But I bet if you turn the bottle on, it's going to leak. Turn it off. Means we need to put everything yeah. it has... It's the what switch. The, the switch bypass or something is like stuck. So, well, the weight, it did the same thing, I believe. I think it looks exactly the same. Him and Brian think that if we just put all the power to it, I want it's the fix it. nitrous on right at the hit. We hope, we hope adding, strapping 200 pounds to the back of it was going to be take us in the right direction, but we don't know that it changed anything. So we'll see. We're trying to have all the power or whatever at the launch because we don't have unlimited power to work with. So, I mean, we're trying to get it to launch with all the power and we just can't get it to 
leave the line. We can get it to start the launch and then it just wants to spin the tire and have to pedal it. So it's rather than take power out to let it launch, we're just really trying to get it, we're trying to figure it out so that we can, so that we can launch with all the power because it just comes down to longer wheelbase, higher crank center line, like different stuff we did with there to have four seats in there. And that when we have the blower, the big screw blower motor sticks out of the hood the right way. Like we did a lot for aesthetics. Well, they're kind of biting us now because it's not normal race car stuff. So like, we're really just trying to, like I said, I mean, figure it out so we can apply all the power because we don't have a lot to work with and we really want to run a seven with it. And we just need to get, get that part figured out. So. We got a week to do it, I guess, to try and figure it out. But so that's where we're at. Will you get another one in today? Um, we might. We might get another. Uh, might get another hit at it today. Um, we'll see. It's a shorter test session, so I mean, we'll see how long it takes for everybody to go through. Because um, remember, I'm a racer at heart, but the Lions are in a playoff game today. So, and we got a pizza party coming up, but. Um, the real hardcore stuff starts tomorrow, but I mean, we really, we would love to figure something out so that tomorrow we're not fighting this nemesis and going out there and looking like crap and moving on to the next track, but. We're just eating pizza, <laughs> waiting for the lane to be empty. You even got pepperoni on your lens. All right, guys, so there was a little bit of an oil down, so we're waiting for them to finish cleaning up the track so we can get going. So, But the Lions game's already on. It's actually almost halftime, but pizza party happened, so everybody's grabbing a slice of pizza. Like Everybody's still eating it, waiting for it to get the call up. We probably got about 
I don't know, 25, 30 cars left to do. So, but Orlando going out of the way to make sure they get everything right so we can make these final passes tonight. And I mean, this is day zero still. So these are just test passes to get ready for the morning, but can't beat the weather. It is, well, it is boost making weather right now because it is nice and chilly. We're probably negative DA right now. And I mean, they're calling for that most of the week. So it's going to be awesome, but we get to enjoy the game during the cleanup. So we're not watching tractors here. We're watching the Lions. All right, guys, that is the end of day zero. So definitely got cool. I think it's 59 degrees or something, like boost making weather. Durango still didn't do any better getting down the track. I mean, our mile per hour, we're 136 at the eighth. So like we keep gaining mile per hour if we just can get to where we don't pedal it. So I think now our plan is gonna be dump timing, try and dead hook it to get off the line and then try and make it up out the back and then on to Tuesday. That would be our, that would be our goal because uh, the chance of getting multiple runs tomorrow is unlikely first day is always a hard one it takes a long time to get through everybody but uh nope get over to the get over to the website grab some merch though because you can still win that badass dually so there is sick week stuff available here but also there's some of the stuff online so you can go buy it online get it shipped to you and uh chance to win that also catch a live stream because i mean eight cameras drone camera we got the jumbotron like here for everybody watching live but i mean it is epic road trip checkpoints like you're going to get to see this event more than you've ever seen one of our events before and we were already here, now we're going here. So it is gonna be awesome. So check that out. If you're a subscriber, just log in because you already got your password sent to you. So you're all good there. And if not, uh, code, code SICKWEEK gets it for $9.99 or whatever for the week to watch the stream. So can't beat it. We'll see you tomorrow.